you had mentioned uh, earlier when you were talking about some of your stories, the importance of being able to build a scheme for the guys that you have. So being able to identify some of what you call these, these wrinkles in this, the current scheme that the Steelers have, what do you think would be a successful offensive scheme for the current talent on our, on our team? Well, mm, mm, Coach Merrill. Yeah, well, like, the, the biggest issue, I don't care what scheme that I want to run right now, the five guys, there's only, in football, you think about this, you know, everybody says, you know, 11 guys got to work together, make a play, defensive yeah. on, which is so true. Within those 11, there's there's different units, okay? The biggest unit in all of football is the offensive line because the five guys have to work like one. Work it's the only unit that's like that. You know, you could argue maybe – when there's nickel out there, you know, the secondary, it's not, the same. It's not quite the same. I mean, it's just, you got to have five guys to see everything the same way mm. and they work together. And because there's so many new faces there, they just. It's hard to mesh. That group yes. has to mesh. Until they get to where, but let's say they did. Let's say, uh, so that would be my goal is to get that, that those guys run. Now, how do you get those things run? Which I actually think they kind of do. I remember the Buffalo game last year. You guys quit doing any shifts and motions because your shifts and motions were killing you. Because I'm telling you, every time you shifted, they brought like nine people in the box. It was like, <laughs> but I go, one thing's a credit to them is they quit doing it in the second half. Yeah. And they were much better. So that being said, I would get me some staple runs that we really were good at. Hmm. We're going to run these no matter what. We're on them every week. And these are our, these are our go-tos to reset us. I would get yeah. that established pronto because you got actually you got two good backs you got really you got two guys that can yeah that rookie's pound. a good, good little player i'm telling you he 30, is, is he a rookie 30. He's a, i yeah, like I him. He's a rookie, right? he is I'm yes sure, yeah, he a i mean he's a powerful guy Najee's a freak and i get that going yeah see i get that going and i've always liked personally to be explosive this is why the ravens are technically explosive because they can sell hard run action. See, like the play action and run action, two different things. Mm. Run action is when you and the, you, your everybody's eyes think it's run for a split second. Mm. That's all I need. Yeah. All I need is even a safety to just like pause for a second. With some of the freaks they have, yeah, with yeah, the speed the, in the NFL. Period. What do you, what makes Miami so dangerous now? Okay, and that what did a lot of the stuff yep. they do? It's a lot of hard run out. You pull a guard, you pull that ball out, yep. and you've already hit him like with three runs, you know, for five yards a clip. I mean, yeah. it's just human. You, your eyes, your, your eyes can fool you, you know. Yeah. And your eyes and, and 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 defenders have a run responsibility too. Right, you know, they got to respect that. Right. So all I need, I don't need you to get to the box, but I if I make you hold your feet. Then I I got a shot, yeah. and I would base a lot of stuff off of those things, those concepts. I get my running game going. I'd have a hard run action. I would have. A, I mean, my my passing game would be complete too. But yeah. those that's how I try to get explosive plays on you. You know the the thing too. The interesting part about that is they play now again Thursday, right? They go to True. Cleveland, and and when you have that, show, and I, I don't know, did you guys play Thursday games back when you like you, you probably just did, Thanksgiving? Just, yeah. So yeah. when you have a short week. Short weeks are brutal. No, I completely agree. Brutal. You know, I mean, you know how you're not even, sometimes on Thursday, you're not even like. Don't even feel right. You're still not right. I'm with you. And so it's going to be, it's going to be tough to play. And so usually on those short, now you do like the back end when you get those extra days off on the back end, but that short week going to Cleveland, division opponent who just lost today, you know, they're going to be fired up. Typically in those short weeks, Hmm. you, you really like. I don't say dumb down the playbook, but you you just go with what your core is, right? right. So you so really ma- it'll at. be interesting to see what they do this week. Are they going to kind of go with what point. they're good that's at? Really and and, and maybe that's what they need to kind of reset themselves, mm-hmm. um, kind of like get that. back to to doing what they do. Because you got no other option. You have to. You're exactly and so right. it'll be interesting that's to see really what they do. Point. That's um, actually a really you know because I I mean when I when our first the first time we played Thanksgiving, I mean we they come in on Tuesday and hands like. <laughs> it's just a little, yeah, it's just, little plan it's, you know, we had. It was like, it's nothing like what we'd we have. We used plan. to do. We used to t- turn our, our coach Randy, BA, all them would turn the the, the the call sheet over. That was our no huddle side because everybody knew the no huddle like the back of their hands because we had to. And it's easy to call from that, and you could just go from there and do sure. it. That that was like our base offense was in that Thursday. Now they, I might not be calling at all. They might call, but you just would 
that's what you're going with something that you guys ran from day one of training of OTAs of mini camp yeah. was the no huddle stuff or the, that that base stuff. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, well, you, know, you, it's a big you, game. you say that. Okay, I mentioned Ron Earhart. Okay, mm -hmm. Ron Earhart. And even though he, he and I butted heads, I loved him. He was a great coach. Mm -hmm. he, he, I'm never forget one. The first thing he established with us, he established with, I think he called it a six pack. He goes, we got four runs and two passes. We will do these and we can do these to anybody in the yeah. National Football League <laughs> when we need them. Okay, we might be in the middle of the game. We're not doing anything. We're going to go six pack. That's awesome. And we're going to make these four runs and these two passes work. That's awesome. And I'm telling you this, I can't even tell you how many times yeah. we'd have to reset ourselves. With those, those plays. plays. And we get those six Good things point. going, and mm -hmm. it would get us going. Uh, well, we'll see. Yeah. I mean, it, hopefully they, they get it going and, and turn it back around. And so 